Hey, hey everybody, it's Cy Ryan back with more CK3. We're doing French things. And I realized after I stopped the stream yesterday, <clears throat> yesterday, like last week, that I actually only have auto saves on like every year. And so uh, even though we ended the grand wedding, the auto save did not happen. So the grand wedding is still ongoing. That's okay. Or rather, it hasn't even started. Uh, a four months still begins? Okay. We're trying here. Hopefully, nothing worse happens. Hopefully, something better happens. Wow, she got... Why oh, you got beat up, lady? I mean, she's the butcher, so I don't know. Dang. She got butched. Alright, we still got all the artifacts that we want here. Ooh, make an armor when you got... Ah, good things. We should, we'll, we'll get enough money and then we'll go ahead and get those going. Let me contact. Right. I'm trying to also get a hook on this guy because I hate him. Any weak spots. Sure. Yo, Goody, how's it going, man? Five style perk. I might as well keep going to Patriarch. Each living child gives you plus one random skill. So right now, 14, 11. Last time we got like two in maybe, was it like stewardship? And then one in everything else except learning. But Charlemagne counts French King for the purpose of the stream title. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. Um, I mean, the definition of French in compar like, compared to Frankish is dubious at worst. It's kind of like the difference between Anglo-Saxon and English. I feel. Like, it's not unreasonable to call him a French king. Because, like... The French are the most direct descent of the Franks, even their names. I mean, obviously. It's like, it's not like they people showed up and were like, Hey, the guys that were here before were Franks. Now we're gonna name ourselves after them. And we are the French. It was a cultural evolution. All right, uh, sound foundations. 14, 11, 12, 7, 13. All right, so we got one in everything except for this. We got none. You got two in diplomacy, though. Excellent. Oh. Well, that's awkward. Yo, Sven, how's it going, man? Uh, you know what? Um, uh, well, that's actually probably not gonna... Was that there before? There's no way that she just got pregnant real... How pregnant is she? Huh. I don't know. Uh. Whatever. Room crowd of commoners. 
salt to the kitchen, trying to guzzle down as much spiced wine and veal cutlets as they can. How'd they get in? Oh, is my guy Baron Charlemagne? Okay, well, I mean, my dude is not... Charl... Yeah, I mean... Mm. Okay, I see what you're getting at. I see what you're getting at. It's... My stream title is a bit an exa of an exaggeration. But... Yeah. Uh, my dude is... Let them share in the merriment. He tainted Queen Matilda with his what? Okay, you know what? I don't like the things that are happening here. Uh, <laughs> help other kinds you need to frenzy. We're working on it. It's it's a work in progress, you know. Yo, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Edgar, how you doing? Yeah, I've been keeping an eye on them. I'm not quite ready to attack them. Okay, I'm just gonna make a save here. Everything went off without a hitch last time that I did this. It's a, it's an accident that I'm having to redo it. There's my perk. It was a little bit more balanced. I, yeah, I don't know. All right, doesn't seem like she's pregnant now. It's gonna be interesting to see if she actually does give birth suspiciously early. It's finally come, couldn't be pr more prouder. That's a good match. Sure. I'm just so proud. Uh, we can go ahead and just do that one again. I can uh, salvage the situation. This is a lot of stress. I don't have any stress. Need to have grand weddings more often, it seems. Oops. Well, oh well. It's fine. My cousin's dead. I get a manipulation thing on the Duke. Or this guy. Hmm. And I can't believe I just rolled a 25%. Unreal. Oh, they're friends! Nice! The ceremony has reached its climax. The traditional rituals have been completed. And all that's left in the final vows. A formal consent and seal the marriage. I do, and very cool. Yay! Yeah, yeah. It wasn't... I mean, I would have gotten like 300 points into uh my thing if i had gotten that 75 percent but yeah hooray banquet starts
So that's why I went for it. It would have actually gained something. Every feast, there is always one. Every single feast, one long-winded, ill-born, pissant, cornering people who just want... who just not be silent. Princess of Cornwall. This time, it's Mer Manre. And she's utterly obsessed with visiting supreme wrath on some poor, nameless rival for some perceived slight. Quite why I am required... For this maddened plotting, I have no idea. I am going to scream. I like the writing in this game. Like, right there. Like, uh, get a, get a thing. That's good. I mean, I lose some stress. It's fine. 4% chance I get an intrigue. Go for the first one. Yay! Alright, might as well go get Patriarch. Increased fertility. I'm not that far off from getting an achievement. Man who is truly dedicated to his family and the prosperity of his house. Uh, what was I doing? I was, uh, saying... Oh, hold on, I sneeze. The best way to not sneeze is to just... ...say to yourself, I'm about to sneeze. I've got a lot of alliances. Um, what was I saying? I was saying something. Uh, food fit for uh, I'm featuring exotic treats, elaborate culinary artworks, and rich colors, which, with richer scents. The banquet chefs have gone all out for the wedding. Near my seat, King Andreas and Prince Raquette. You can break up every kingdom of old Francia. By being a count. I'm fealty and doing this all. That'd be... That'd be a thing. Wow. An interesting challenge. Without losing... Uh, a good feast, I think. Uh, plenty of thought into making an ex experience without losing sight of the important things. I'm having a good time. Briquette wines. I just think things could have been a little further to be the best. Oh, yeah, we had a similar thing like this. We want to get, like, Marshall? Oh, that's right, yeah, an achievement. Is it an achievement for getting, like, ten kids, I believe? Yeah, the succession is safe. Have ten living children. I am at... I need three more. And my wife is 39. I don't know. We, we may not have it here. <laughs> Yo, Mobius. How you doing, man? What? What about a set? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm doing well. Filling with Crusader Kings is always nice. Do I want Marshall? Uh, how, how close am I to, like, doing a Marshall level? I may go ahead and just switch over to... Do I want to be a diplomat? Even knows. Uh, oh, sneezing, right, yes. I mean, I, you shouldn't suppress sneezes. If you gotta let it out, you gotta let it out. I just felt the sneeze coming on, and then I think I psyched myself out of sneezing. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know, I'll, I'll probably stick with this. Though, uh... I'll pick the main dishes personally. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. All this prestige. Fine sculptures, exotic tapestries, strange foreign flower arrangements, and more festoon the banquet the uh, and more festoon the banquet hall, a veritable feast for the eyes. Near my seat, both Captain Menel, the boss company. Why is this? Why is a mercenary dude just hanging out in my son's wedding? And uh, Duchess, her. My vassal, powerful vassal, in fact. She likes me. Is she good at anything? She'd actually be a good diplomat if I could make her my diplomat. But not as good as Bertrand there. Certainly not stingy with a coin here, are they? Uh, well, can't... Can't say I'm afraid to take advantage of the hospitality. Hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, doesn't it all feel like it's distracting a little from the ceremony? Ooh, a little bit more... Not quite what I had in mind. Become friends with her. That'd be good. I mean, I, I just kind of want the diplomacy experience. Yo, Jackie, how's it going, man? Yeah, exactly. Why are the Mercedes spoken at my... Uh, Mercedes at my wedding? Bad things gonna happen. Yo, look at that guest list. Nice. Oh, unpause. That'd help. Root beer blast. How you doing, man? Is that a good night as in hello in the evening? Or are you saying you are leaving? That's kind of funny that it's like... Good morning, good afternoon, all have the connotation of just being hello. Or good night means goodbye. You like the rhyme? Okay. Uh, what, you mean like trying to rhyme sigh and good night? It's not quite a rhyme, but all right. Everyone in anger, so, uh, so frankly, an inter interminable number of speeches. So long, some long, some short, some honest, some deceptive, roiling up and down the hall, punctuating every course of the feast in waves. As my turn nears, I am left wondering. But I consider the happy couple of folks on the festivities. After all, these double meetings and lots of da 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 da. I'm going to praise the happy couple. Uh, uh, hello in the evening, or... Yeah. That... Oh. I didn't know... I didn't think that was the rhyme, but okay. Yeah. Uh, is there anything more jovial than a good feast? Guests throng to and fro, eating and chatting while flickering torchlight plays off every wall. Light bouncing like laughter around the hall. That's a rhyme. Some people think a banquet is a hectic place, but to me, they're a bastion of calm and social accord. Everyone sits easier with a full belly and a sloshing cup, after all. Sometimes it's nice to simply sit back and enjoy the little things in life. There's a lot of stress. Uh, every guest with at least one trait in common. Mm. I'll say a chance to be seen with the great and the good. OM! In all caps. Alright, well, yeah, thanks for dropping by, Root Beer Blast. 
Have a good night. As in, goodbye. <laughs> and thank you. Oh, you're in a... Ooh. Yikes. The crappy internet sneaking back up. The innocent uh, throng of musicians, tumblers, and actors are providing the evening's entertainment. Thrilling guests across the hall. Uh, near my seat, but... Oh. These guys good? Oh, uh, sorry. Um, finally... Glad you're enjoying it. Oh, I'm sorry the internet cut off your stream, dude. I can see that all guests are satisfied and pretty tired, but the day of celebration is not yet over. I quickly organize a festive procession to lead the newlyweds to their bedchamber. Let's let the newlyweds celebrate privately. For us who remain, let's pour another drink. It's time. Making whoopee. The newlyweds have taken their leave, consigned by the families to the bedchamber to consummate their union. The rest of us return to the banquet hall to make merry and celebrate. The rest of the evening is mine to spend how I wish. Let's see what the servants have overheard tonight. Huh. Interesting. Uh, who? This guy is a non-believer. My, my. Blackmail for cash. Get a weak hook. I don't really care. Yeah, the stream's going well. I forgot to save at the end of the last stream. So I have to redo the wedding. Because the auto saves are only like every year. Silly me. I mean, it's not like I lost too much. Yeah. Doing Danish things. I guess because they did the whole boat thing. You know, the Vikings do. Oh no, the thing is, it is Iron Man mode. Just that Iron Man mode in this game is more forgiving. Like, as you can see... Wait, no. Uh... Okay, okay, no. I guess I, Iron Man is not... Alright, sorry, sorry, sorry. Iron Man is not enabled, but achievements are. Ah, oh, whatever. At least I gained Dread. Dynastic doubts. Tired of the long days waiting and socializing, my son and I ensconce ourselves at a table to mull over the union. You know, <laughs> size. Uh, passive judgments. Yeah, I don't know what he's trying to... Okay, a little weird there. You know what? It's in God's hands now. Weird things happen in this game. Part of the charm, I feel. When finally the last guest leaves, I look around at the deserted venue. The food leftovers, the spilled wine on the floor, the echoes of people's laughter still lingering in the air. And feel satisfied. What an amazing day. I did a very fine job organizing it. Hooray! Got a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Alright, let's do another little save.
All right. Oh, uh, I missed the opportunity for that one. Uh, sadly. I'll smell. At least, a word, please. My Chancellor Duke Bertrand approaches me during a brief lull while attending court matters. He gestures to a less populated spot in the room, and I follow him there. I'm concerned about the state of Ile de France Castle. While holding a meeting in one of the rooms, we all noticed a horrific smell. It must have come from the latrines, a floor below. I implore you to consider paying the fixed and neglected parts of the building. Hmm. Good risk. I'm sure the problem gets fixed as soon as possible. I've got a good bit of money. No, I know we'll go ahead and uh, get this guy an inspiration. 136. That's fine. Hooray! Crazy dude. Died from a seizure. Dang. Hold on. Does that mean... Yeah. I don't know. Alright. How strong is... Is you... 4,600. I've got... Alright. Wouldn't be the worst thing to attack this guy now. Name to remember. Uh, what is this? Uh, let's go for no need for dedication here. Yeah, he died from the floor collapsing and drowned poop. Very medieval. If you're winning a war against trying to get that claim, you're losing a war on this one. Gain a county. From whoever this guy is. I think I go ahead and, and take advantage of this. I want to take. Alright, that's a possibility. We can go for that whole duchy. Guy. And that's quite. We would fix that. Would be nice. That's expensive, though. At uh, this, this is a bit more. Yeah, this is a big duchy, and that includes that. I think I kind of want to just go for this one. Get myself a Mediterranean. Yeah, I think we go for it. I don't... We'll see if I actually need to call in any allies. They're pretty distracted. War. It may change. <laughs> Plop that there. Raise everybody there. Life's touch. Hmm. About my wife Matilda chattering excitedly to Abdal Kadir, listing ideas and suggestions for his goblet. My metalsmith is barely concealing his contempt, clearly annoyed at my spouse's interference. And as you are forging a goblet, she goes on, it may as well match my grandmother's old goblet. 
part of Ab uh, Abd al Qadir's soul seems to be dying. Uh, unlikely that it'll actually be better. Come, darling, let's leave it to the expert. Guys, just uh, get there. Oh, hold on. Let's actually move on to the statue that we want to be taking. Delegated authority. Quest for funds. Sure. My beneficiary insists uh, that the funds I have supplied him with are not enough to create an artifact worthy of my stature. With just a bit more gold, I could create something truly magnificent. Go for it. I would claim. Harold, my knight, frets all through the day, evidently attempting to find the right words. At last, as we make our way to dine, he begins sheepishly. My liege, I heard rumors that Ludwig, the high chieftain of Moray, has come to see you as the focus of his enmity. He maintains he is personally wronged by your continued role of his, uh, rule of his rightful domain, France. Hmm. Uh, which one? I say inconsequential. Hmm. Eh. No, you know what? Uh, hold on. I am. Okay, I'm just gonna say, uh, I'll ride him at once. Hey, he likes me slightly more. Look at that. Yo, we can make a weapon. I would like to. But right now we're, uh, we're working on other things. Alright, we got another baby. That's number... Oh, wait. Um, no, hold on. That's a, that's a, a, a granddaughter. Catherine. Catherine. Or whatever the French would call her. The heck? Oh, one of these. Great. Ah, okay. Um. Yeah, Catherine. Whatever. Over here, my lord, my beneficiary, Ab Abd al Qadir, uh, waves me over with a wide grin. I have toiled many days and nights, and finally my work is done. He presents me with an object wrapped in cloth, and as I lift the fabric, my eyes grow wide. A ceremonial goblet of masterful craftsmanship. It is made of silver with ruby inserts. Heck yeah. It's lovely, the Robertine goblet. Ooh, very nice. This is lovely. As long as I'm capable, there are some projects that I'd like to undertake. Sure. Alright, but hold on. I want to make sure that it's actually sitting somewhere. There we go. 
Very cool. The Northern Menace. This again. Banish these invaders as we always have done. Can I assassinate him yet? Hold on, I can call people in my defensive war. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. And I'm not feeling so great. Hmm. Part of me wants to part of me wants to cheese, but I mean not i mean it's crusader kings you kind of got to roll with this stuff i don't think i want to be cheesy damn and blast all carcassonne actually hold on whose claim is this uh i i kind of i'm gonna cheese it <laughs> I kind of just don't want to lose... Just don't want this war to just end. Go back one more month. Or whenever. Or... Um... Okay. Nope, not okay. Um... And when did the... What if I just... Stop commanding right now? If, is that a thing? Oh, how about...
Okay, la last time. Last time. I'm gonna change commanders, and if that doesn't work, then I'll I'll see if I roll the the twenty percent and not die. I don't need to be commanding this. Oh, this guy's even better at sieges. See, that was even just faster. Hooray, I'm not dead yet. Alright, diplomacy perk. Hmm. Do I want to go down the diplomat? Do I want to go down August? I kind of want to go down August. Prestige from Dread, sure. Yeah, these guys aren't actually fighting this army. Because they are not hostile to them in that case. Really wanted to finish that siege. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. Maybe I should just call them in. We got a lot of prestige. So, how do we get... Right now, uh, my I am illustrious. Doing pretty well. Uh, I will wait a little bit. That guy's still doing that up there. Rose can... All right, they're married. That's pretty cool. Why did they get a grand wedding, Dad? Taking the knee. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, that's funny. Uh, did the previous dude die? Yeah, he just died. He drank himself to death, and his empire split. Like, his, his crown split. Aquitaine is now the one that I'm at war with. With this, uh, small child. And he has far fewer dudes. Aha.
Yes, it is. Both the Rin and Shia doesn't exist. The myths are real. Also, can I just kill this guy? And not likely. Ooh, Pilgrim's Guide. Neat. These dress night effect in this. I kind of wish that wasn't... Yeah. I'm gonna need to repair these, too. So I've, uh, once I'm done with this, these wars, I think. Alright. You know what? Alice. Sounds good. It's good name. Good name. Random count in India, uh, Saka culture. What's the, which one's the Saka culture? Let's see down the capital now. You go, like, fight this dude. Next to Tibet. It may not be here in my campaign. Like, uh, what is... the Saka culture? Oh, that, yeah, okay. It is... Uh, it's Iranian. Scythian. Oh, interesting. Huh. Are there any other Scythians still around? Are they like the last remnant of the Scythians? Muslim government in that culture. Huh. It's probably gone in this campaign though. Cool. Ellen also speaks Scythian. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. Cool. Ooh, an armor project would be nice. Wait on that a little bit more. I want to 
That's this guy. Rasmian, Sogdian, and Afghan too. Okay. Fourteen year old, marry a thirty year old woman. I'm gonna go with no. But instead. Hmm. Queen of Burgundy? And, uh, not an attractive family. Frame it, sure. The silent, ooh. And we win! Nice. Barcelona's also down to there. Alright. See what we can do about these dudes. Over the domain limit. No, I'm not over the domain limit, actually. Look at that. Oh. Ad break. BRB. B O B B R B S O O N E.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, the independence thing. Will you form an alliance and declare independence, or declare then? F you want you uh, you don't. Okay, so coalitions are things where if someone expands too much too quickly, people can form a coalition by um. Uh, and so if they are attacked by the target of the coalition, they're all automatically brought into the war. So you would want to find people that would support your independence. For Denmark, the tar a good target would probably be... Depending on how late it is, somewhere, somewhere around Russia, like a... Uh, Muscovy would probably be good. Maybe Novgorod, maybe more likely. England is a possibility. Maybe one of the larger princes in the Holy Roman Empire. It's not hard to become independent in Sweden. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. All right, well, there we go. We got a whole other duchy. I mean, you can attack. You could probably get more out of it rather than just become independent if you do well enough. But holding Stockholm is the most important thing. Oh, there's Carcassonne, the province that nearly killed me if I didn't reload a million times. Yeah, that might be something to look into. Keep an eye on your focus tree, yeah. Ooh, dissolution war. Yeah, do that. That would be great. Declaration of Love. He's insane. A Kinslayer. Uh, I don't think I want to romance me. Oh, he's a bleeder. He's rowdy. Go for intrigue. You can be an intriguer. Doing Marshall. I'm not worried about the education quite yet. They're actually really low quality troops, too. These guys will reinforce my war. Yeah, there we go. Did I imprison the dude? How did I win? Did I really just need like one battle?
Or I just, oh no, I just stack wiped him. <laughs> Gives me a thousand percent. Wow. Take that. Loser. Hooray! I don't know, hopefully this will succeed. Uh, widely known, heck yeah. Range betrothal. Bastard founder. Interesting. My daughter and the... A Castilian prince. Sure. Sounds good. As long as this guy's careful, I think he can win. All the war. Ooh, a clash against... Okay. I will most certainly assist you. Oh, hold on. Uh, did I wait too long? I did. Oh, well. Prestige per night. Uh, let's go to Praetorian Guard. That's not exactly a reassuring name, but okay. I'm gonna go ahead and attack this guy. All right, got another granddaughter. Or no, that's grandson. Ooh, this will be, uh... Hmm. Let's go Othan. This will be my next... Second to next character, most likely. Hey, we won. <laughs> as soon as I got there. My next son comes of age. Gonna finish her scholarship. Excellent, excellent. Astute intellectual. All right. Once March, well, those guys are gone. All right, everybody can go home. There we go. She's a good diplomat. Gotta remember to hold court more often.
Oh, and her empire, her kingdom is going to fracture when she dies, probably really soon. And goes to hell. Culture discovered barracks. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one. Actually, what are the alternatives to replace it? I don't think there's anything better for straight up money. Nah. Upgrade Arena. How close am I to forming Francia, actually? I just get all of... Aquitaine, I think I'd be good. Yeah, really all I need... Well, uh, just 18 provinces. Actually, probably not all of Aquitaine, but I mean, we're, we're working on it. Back to Barcelona. Huh, I could actually grab the whole duchy. Why do I have a claim on Barcelona? That's a pretty good one to take advantage of right now, too. Maybe we should go ahead and just grab it. Not doing anything else. Uh, I could go to a wedding. Sure, let's do it. I'm gonna go to a wedding. Fresh start. My vassal Duke Herbert is hosting his own wedding ceremony in Barry, and time has come for us to depart. He will be entering holy matrimony with Rakara, and the wedding should be nice, like most weddings are. I look forward to relax and enjoy the celebrations that accompany such an occasion. I can't wait. I hope he doesn't try to kill me. Arriving sometime before nightfall, the farm estates in Etimpe, Yolanda, plays the role of a most gracious host, and needs all our needs. Later in the evening, a feast is hosted in my honor, and the wine figuratively keeps flowing until we start seeing signs of dawn in the sky. The morning after, I am approached by Yolanda, my lord. We thoroughly enjoyed hosting you, and this shindig will... Shindig. 
That seems like such a weird word to be using in a medieval context. Shindig. I feel like this is a word that's not even... Like... Not even a hundred years old. Uh, will warm us many a night forward. He smiles and nods. Is your spiced wine stock max your tax rate? Um, you've been a most gracious host. Yes. I'm uh, through the sometimes harsh environment. I'm traveling still? I thought I was already there. My antiquarian's quite antiquated himself. Mid 19th century. I mean, I said a hundred years, so, yeah, yeah, 50 years, you're right. Let him rest. On and, uh... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Sure. That one seems fine. Yeah, exactly. It's not even a thousand. Shindig. That just feels like such a 50s word to me. Yo, my lord, my dude. Welcome to my shindig, bruh. Isn't that how people talk in the 50s? But I think you get my point that I'm trying to sound like someone from... You know, the mid to late 20th century. <clears throat> Yo, dog, my feast is most bodacious. <laughs> War. What is up, my liege? War is most unchill, bro. Oh, Poland refused an alliance. Oh, you gotta improve relations then first. Maybe get a royal marriage. Maybe become the king of Poland, you know. As one does. Um, Leon and Portugal. Sure. Oh. I can manage things from here. I don't care what happens over there. All right. Well, good luck, man. Oh, it doesn't? Hmm. Uh, right. Thank you for mentioning that. The only real reason that I want chat on screen is just so that if anyone watches the VOD, it doesn't look like I'm insane and talking to myself. Yes, lose this war. Lose it! Lose it now! Oh, let's see. T uh, time to right this wrong. Sucks to suck.
Hold on, I should repair some of these artifacts, probably. You're doing intrigue. Sure, get educated by this guy. You're also doing intrigue. You also get educated by this guy. Actually, I should really look at his... Seedful, brave, and ambitious. Eh, it could be worse. Learning. Learning. Oh, really? My son can educate her? He's 16. She Sure, you know what? Why not? The last little bit of her education. You will be a marshal. Mr. Marshall. All right, Wolf Fangs. All right, let's get an antiquarian. My son would be good, apparently. Cast lighting isn't real. It's not a real phrase. No one's ever said it before. You're crazy. I look around myself in excitement. Everywhere I lay my eyes on, there are mingling guests. Flowers on every surface. Buzzing servants with loaded dishes. And a very proud host, Dirk... Dirk Hubert. Checking on the final details. The nervous but excited spouses, Duke Herbert and Ricara, are standing at ready. The ceremony is about to begin. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, you may put it on the wall. Actually, no, that is... That is weird. Because they're not actual decorations. Maybe they're, like... Like, that does seem weird. Like, there are things that you decorate your court with. Like, you would hypothetically put antlers on a wall. Say, hey, my great-granddad killed that big old elk. But why are these on my person? Do I actually carry around stag antlers in a box? And be like, hey, my grandpa made these when he killed the thing. Yeah. Like, what? I should really get a crown. I need a better crown. I'm the king of France. King of France! Got another grandson. Renaud. He's still apparently got into a fight. Someone has finally reached its climax, the traditional ritual, final vows, formal consent, seal of marriage. I do, 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 do. Wedding banquet starts, formal part of the wedding, the ceremony finally begins. Pleasing atmosphere. Is there anything more jovial than a good feast? Guests throng to and fro and chattering while flickering torchlight plays off. Every wall... Yeah, yeah. I have very slight stress. Let's get the prestige. What is this? 
Is there any meat on this bone? Do men usually eat vegetables this small? Are these the kinds of meals I expect in hell? Oh, and where are the sweets? This must be the peasants. This must be the way the peasants eat. Delightful. Oh, I get it. Okay, life reaffirmed. Huh. Like, I'm just so grateful that I'm not poor. Why does the dude get prestige for this? Huh. Heavenly Delights? What? I feel like this is a little backwards. I don't know. I guess I like peasant food, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just real small servings. $50 for a steak the size of a half dollar. I'm so happy I'm not poor. Exactly. Uh, by any reasonable standards, eating Oh, uh, by any reasonable standards, the evening's food is ex an exciting medley of textures, flavors, and spectacle. Apparently, though, it's really small. Though this is a particularly special occasion, near me, near my seat is Prince Robin, Miss Robin, and King Ludwig, who surprisingly doesn't hate me all that much, despite declaring war on his dad. Well, I mean that's probably why I didn't actually take anything from him. Oh, okay. I mean, he's... yeah. Another dish of the same, laughs Robin. I know what I like, and I like what you're serving. Yeah, no hard feelings. I mean, I really only took something from his brother that he probably doesn't even care for. I'm not sure why the course, is, course progression is so rushed, Ludwig complains. It took everyone forever to get here, and now we're speeding through the meal? Uh, I think I'm on your side, Robin. Or diplomacy. Shimmering, shining. The banquet hall's trimmings are beautiful. A medley of murals and rare flowers. Right, yes. This again. I prefer Fakwa's positive thinking. I'm friends with the lady. My Chancellor. Ch Chancellorette? And Fighter. Hmm, that'll be nice. That was my best friend. I don't care for her to be my best friend. Let's sneak out so we can talk properly. I don't care who this is. What the heck? She's the ki the German king's executioner? They just have this lady bring out a big old axe and chop dudes' heads off. Pretty awesome, but you know. I don't do the Stellaris custodian team thing. More titles? Hmm. All right, yeah. Can fight her. Hooray! All right, got another. Another grandchild. Eleanor. Sure. Speech. Speech. Am I? Uh. I care what she thinks of me. Raise the party.
Those are spouses. Presence here today must not be overshadowed. I don't really think I care to be friends with her. Yeah, my presence here must not be overshadowed. Make my number bigger! You're exposed. Uh, wow. Alright. On his freaking wedding day. This dude was outed as having an affair with, uh, with her. That's... That's hilarious. Look, man, maybe they... Maybe they were calling it off before the wedding. I don't know. Um... Baseless, I guess. I don't know. Benevolent intent. I guess leave the wedding. I guess okay. Yeah. How do you feel? She's a thirty-six opinion of her husband. So seems okay. Resolutions again. Isn't that nice? I think I'm done with this. I should declare war on Barcelona. A duel demanded. An opposing man is standing on the road ahead of us. I am Fokil of Barry. I have bested dozens of men in combat. And honestly, all those fights were dull. So here I am on this road looking for someone better uh, than me. Someone I can learn from. If you can best me in combat, I will become a valuable and loyal servant. And so on this day, I demand to meet one of you in a fair fight. Someone get your priest. Well, he's only got like 13 prowess. Got good learning. Alright, uh, good chance, there's a bit more than a coin flip that I win. Oh, his prowess is bad, though. During events where you and your counselor is going to distress- Yes! You can get- it was actually really common until recently. Now it's only probably moderately common. Well, you could get a fake papal tiara and really piss off the Pope. Yeah. Your whole entourage tramples the guy. Alright, he might be less valuable after I win. And I won. Hooray! Let's see, I should get... Yeah, you'd be a good court physician. Or tutor. And a good court tutor. Why well, I didn't run him over. Ooh. Master of the... Oh, wow. Got a good couple excellent dudes here. Master of the Horse is responsible for Leisure's majestic steeds and stables. They have their work cut out for them since a well-kept horse is a boon both on the battlefield and on the road.
Wait, what happened? Didn't Ray tried for peace and have Denmark a lot of... Oh, you gave... So you surrendered. Yeah, dude, you should start over. Sounds like you kind of botched that. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Selfless Craven. I'm gonna give it to you. You're a logistician. Makes sense. Ooh, Royal Architect. Yeah, let's give that to you. There are a lot of positions here. Man. I could have apparently two bodyguards. I'm gonna go ahead and chill on that right now, though. Quad fair. Uh, uh, in charge of our food supplies and cheap cereal provisions are now all but useless, having been poorly stored. That's just a mold, blah, 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 just a bit of mold. 94% that will, uh, chance will forage for something. I think we'll be fine. Uh, pure looking content. Ah, uh, the fortune. Nah! And we're back. Oh yeah, he's gonna lose. Honestly, I think we go ahead. Let's press that claim for Barcelona. Ooh, and we get that... Spanish guitar. Ace combat music. And you've got the siege weapons, so that's good. There we go. Good little fight.
died, the kingdom over here was destroyed. Can I make the kingdom now? Not yet. I wouldn't want to even if I could. But I still would need... A bit more. Still becomes of age. Very nice. She is a antagonist. Eloise. Sure. Go to Heloise. Alright, we lost that war, that's fine. Alright, do not care. Is it mostly like point and click movement? Oh, okay, it's not very fast. Gotcha. There's only one point difference between these guys, so, like, this guy and this guy, and this guy's a powerful vassal, so I might as well just go ahead and get him in there. Unexpected visit. My mind set on rela a relaxing evening. I'm heading for my son Gothir's chambers. Gothir? Gothir? And the spiced wine and a deck of cards. Without knocking, I push the door open. He's seated on by his desk, writing furiously as I clear my throat. He jumps out of his skin, quickly stuffing a roll of parchment in his uh, pockets. Oh, what are you hiding? Did he really think I would not see this? Give it to me. At once. With a shivering hand, Gothair offers me the crumpled parchment. Well, well, well. How delightfully wicked. According to this blackmail letter, Gothair is a sexual deviant. Well. Never gonna use that, but, uh... No run button or dedicated jump. Okay. Huh. Right, so let's go. Let's go do battle. Good fight. Hey, Rhythme, how you doing? Thanks for the raid. How was your stream?
Decent? Only one hour? Oh, yeah. Kind of sucks when you can't really do as long of a stream as you'd like. This Greek counselor. An indiscreet with my son? Dude, she's 47. I guess he's just really into scarred, possessed ladies. She doesn't look half bad for 47, but I mean, dang. They're gonna see. Oh, alright. Well, congratulations. Hope you've been enjoying streaming. <laughs> oh, that's right. He married a, a, an older woman, didn't he? Huh. But yeah, what did he stream? Garlic give attraction bonus? Yeah, I guess so. And people like me enough. I mean, they become lovers either way. This freaking dude. Whatever. Valorant, all right. Oh, Burgundy! Ugh, what the heck? Burgundy. An inspiring rule. If done in a specific way, what's that mean? If the, you mean if the scars are done in a certain way? Social manipulation. If there's a small scratch. Yeah. Okay. I thought, like, the way you... I th like, what are you doing to the scar is kind of what I was thinking. Uh, the first time it happened, I barely gave him notice. That's my limits. These are impossible tasks. Failed. The weird. <laughs> What? Uh, Anne. Cool. On East France, you got that one, apparently. Siege or pack them. Don't have any troops left, my guy. Someone's trying to kill my guy. How dare! My guy is my guy. 
Alright, I'm losing Core Grandeur. I may need to start fixing that. Oh yeah, taking that will definitely be enough. Losing money right now. Being profligate is not very good either. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna... Settings. Game. Cool tip. What's it? Mode? Oh no, I want to... Uh... Maybe I prefer action lock. I'm gonna try that. That sounds cool. I'm trying to remember that for next time I load up the game. I kind of just wish it would not... Okay, um... The Terry is unnotified and is available. You can toggle it on and off in reach activity. Uh, oh, right, yeah, I should do that. Don't need to tell me. You can probably just go on back. How are we doing on upgrading our stuff? I think it's done? Yeah, it's done. Once this war is over. Come on, give me them trumpets. It's come of age. And she's sick. She's come of age. She's not sick. There we are. Yay! The man who would be king. The son of my other son. Huh. Boys, please. It's completely... Uh, yeah, what began as a normal family gathering in the... Oop, uh, alright, well we got an ad coming up here soon. So we will actually take a break and then we will resolve this event. Stick around. I'll be back soon.
I'm back. I sure hope no one's lurking behind me. The man who would be king. What began as a normal family gathering in the dining halls of Paris has quickly erupted into a heated argument between my son and heir, Udis, and my son, Bohemond. He asserts that Udis is unworthy of being my heir at all. He is completely unworthy of the crown and deserves nothing more than to be my jester upon succession. This villain has stood in first place for the crown for long enough and deserves to be put in his place. I demand a duel for this, Eudis. A duel for the throne! He's generous, zealous, and ambitious. He is compassionate, ambitious, and arbitrary. This stresses me out either way. Uh, sit down, you fool. I like my current air. I don't have CB on you. I should have been working on that. You? Yeah, it'll just be easier to give this guy the duchy. Whenever he has... Man, he is a handsome hunchback. Why are you married to a 51-year-old woman? Pardon me? Are you stupid? Yeah. French President Emmanuel Macron. So I guess the answer is yes. Um... I'm not gonna give you any land. In fact... I revoke your land? Unbelievable. Um... Let's just make a claim on you. A little bit. Like, up here is the only place where we actually lost territory. Like, during my kingdom. I think I should hold court. Uh, what is my grandeur right now? I can definitely upgrade this. We are making a bit less money. Bit of a pain. I think it's worth it. Cheeky little upgrade. And we're only ranked ninth in the world, sadly. Hold on. Any chance that I could just vassalize you? Can buy a little 
I'll actually do that. Eh. One province. I'll just go attack her for it. Her territory is going to split up, a, I, I I think. No, I actually won't. But I'll stay under the Kingdom of Burgundy. Oh, it's called Galtia. That's interesting. I should attack you as well. I'll get that one little bit of territory down there. I don't need to rush for it, though. I really wish that I could just grab... ...whole thing without risking this guy giving it all to freaking Castile. I got her excommunicated. And now let's kill her. Come on, man. I'm doing this for your... For the good of you. Do I have any more daughters that are unmarried? Yeah, dude. You can marry one of my daughters. You're welcome. Story about fire roars, drinks have been had, and Yudas is calling out to me for a story. My first thought is of a famous French folk tale, a classic that never fails to delight. On the other hand, what if I told the story of my own life? Perhaps at the time I became friends with Sigismund, my brother. Become friends with my son. That'd be cool. Sure. No longer my caravan master. Okay. How are you doing? You're 84. Wow. Louis! Sure. Looking forward to when she dies. You've got two sons. Or more. Wait, would it all go to this guy? Huh. Let's go ahead. Oh. Duke Sento of Toulouse has bestowed upon me a most gracious gift a couple of well bred palfreys, one mare and one stallion. My lord, my marshal, Count Gug, beckons me over to the mare. Look at these muscles and these hindquarters. This one would serve well in war. Ooh. 
I'll train the mayor myself. I can't believe I just got like another like 16%. Damn it. At least I'm no longer wounded. There is hell I draw a lot of people with high and low. I mean, it's already in... Yeah, I'm... I don't need any higher percentage. I don't even know if it can go high. Yeah, it's maxed at 95. Won't waste money on her. Three months and she'll be dead. I'm ill. Uh, do more than, no more than what's necessary. A little brighter. Hostage. My agents have scheduled a journey. Yeah, band of thugs. Wait, why is it only 26%? What the heck? Why'd it go down so much? Wait. Why did... Damn it! Only the finest airmen and velvet for me. She was assassinated. Oh, wait, no, she did... Wait. Did someone else kill her? Wait. Oh, did he ex... I think he divorced her. Heck yeah. Or not? No. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. What? Okay, no, he does have a primary heir, though, now. So I actually don't care if I... Okay. Can I invite him to court? I mean, he's not landed, so he would just get over here. Or rather, it would have to be their kids. Who is the... This guy's unlanded. This kid is... No, he's the king of Castile. Oh. Huh. Alright, so killing her now doesn't make a difference. He does actually have an heir. Wait, no, he needs kids. If he just has kids, then it'd be fine. He's like freaking 20. He's gonna have kids. As long as he... As long as she dies. She might accept. What are the odds? Excommunicated. I got that claim. My old self. How old am I? I'm only 50. I'll go ahead and declare war on you.
Oh, he's in a tournament. Ah. It's these guys again. Silly little northerners. Pass it. Why is it... What happened that it's not... Hold on, known criminal... Won't succeed. Hmm. Like, this won't actually help. Give you a little bribe. Give you a little bribe. Alright, we're looking a lot better. Give you a little bribe. That's a big bribe. It's one or dead, so that I have a very good chance. My son to... Sure. Pretty likely, and only a 9% chance that it gets discovered. Deadly spider. Ooh. Spiders. Alright, she's dead. Very good. I'm, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss, my guy. You want a much... Younger wife. My daughter, in fact. Like, why? In what world did you, an at least, an absolute oldest 19-year-old, marry a 50-year-old in the year of our Lord 950-something? Like, 954. Here, having a... I was going to say appropriately aged wife, but I'll say almost appropriate. Uh, you get the point. Wow, she's actually in this drunker to make a great marshal. Oh, hold on. This guy was... My good siege guy? Oh, yeah. My good siege guy died. How did he die? Is this old? Yeah. Old. Died from old. Seize Dutch sword. My, my. Also, I'm a true ruler. Hehehe, <laughs> sucks to be you. Oh, 
I'll fix the domain thing soon. I'll give it to, I don't know, just anybody. Oh, oops. Forgot about that. Also, you know what? Uh, Dutch sword. Oh, this is much better. Sure. I did not think when I lowered my army. Alright, well, I'm re-raising them, and it's fine. Fine, and it's great. Oh, and I have a new Prince Bishop. This guy. Why are you naked? Why are you old? All right, who wants this little province? Lothair. I don't want this guy. He's got good marshal, but... Anything kind of rather like better traits? I mean, he's got tr better combat traits. You know, this guy's been so cool. I was just to say, like, I have nothing against your Mazarabic. But, you know, for the sake of keeping things uh, nice and together, I'm going to ask you to convert. And now you get Le Marche. My guy. No longer my antiquarian. I don't remember to hold court. Oh, Naval's going to be vassalized? Hold on now. Oh, hold on now. You know, all of that. Just so this guy could just... They will... I don't even need to go to war. 
I killed that woman and married my daughter off to her widower just for me to do this. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, what is that? Uh, you had a campaign where your character was ambiguous around 18 or older and married someone who was ambiguous. Uh, ambiguously? Unambi I'm. Are you using that word right? Well, I mean, congrats on actually having a kid under those circumstances. Oh, what game? Oh, okay. Just another game. All right. That was my dynasty. Fire Emblem. What were the characters? Oh, wait. Was that like Awakening? Oh, wait. That was the, the mercenary guy. Wait. I mean, it's more of a difference of how old the mother is. Fates. Okay. Pernell, sure. There we go. Rena and Yugiri. Okay, I'm not I'm not familiar with those characters. I watched a let's play of Awakening 7 years ago. Wow. Man. Uh That's really about it. All right, I win. Stupid guy ain't got eyes. Yeah, you better cry your eyes out. Ain't got no eyes. <sighs> All right. He ain't got no eyes. Other characters don't get what they deserve with the writing. Okay. I've almost... Not that far off from, like, uh, 10,000 prestige. All right, our empire is now connected. Is this my language? Yeah, it's like vulgar Latin is probably what it is. Uh, send him my regards. Alright, so how close am I to actually making the Empire now? I just need... 12 more? You're exposed.
Uh... Do I care? Yes. Hmm. Yes. Well, I didn't actually imprison him, but, you know. A manipulation. Why do I have a manipulation hook on her? My wife gave me a manipulation hook on my daughter? Like, all my... Which of my kids are married? She's married. She's married. And pregnant. You're married. Also, you. Powerful vassal. Whatever. Not powerful enough. I need to get her married. She's 19. A lot of people with a lot of claims. A lot of small claims. Ooh, we can even get him at high feudal obligations. We're going to call him France if she's a lot earlier than expected. Yeah. It's also a pretty different Burgundy. I don't know if they have any territory that overlaps. Just wanna... Yeah, like... They've been absorbing all this stuff. All I need is 16 more provinces. Which is a lot. It's gonna eat, eat a lot of burgundy. Hospitality. Uh, King of East Francia. All right. Oh, well, he is handsome. Uh, a few specialties. Haha, it feels right at home. I have an audience. Uh... I don't think it would be appropriate. 
I don't think that'd be appropriate. Also, Scotland has a little bit of land over there. Nation fickle, ambitious. I bet he's a fine dancer. Going well. Let's go and commission one of these. Also, let's hold court. Setting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors to the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. All several, after several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased. All faces turn towards mine, expectantly. In front of me, I count three. Three petitioners. Ah, ah, ah. Lined up in an orderly row. Waiting for me to call on them. On second thought, get out. Alright, yeah. So my vassals are pushing one another and jostling to reach my throne first. Count Louis bows before me. My lord, murder is wanted in the city streets throughout the kingdom of Francia. It would be civilizing if we instituted a ban on townspeople bearing arms, at least within the city limits. Count Oliba kicks him out of the way. Safety is each man learning to protect himself. Banning carrying of weaponry will castrate the townspeople. Go solve the safety debate with violence. 100% chance I get wounded. Or that Louis gets wounded. I would allow up open weapon carry. Increase danger. I really don't care about their opinion. But I think the ban is actually beneficial. Increase control. My vassal Duke Philip approaches the throne with a middle-aged man in tow. My liege and king, he spouts. My cousin Matteo Gelonclier seeks the honor of serving in your retinue of knights. Give him the opportunity to prove his quality. He's okay, I guess. Matthew smiles weakly. Though I am only a middling swordsman, I hope to learn much in your service. The graveyards are full of mailing swordsmen. Sure, you can join in. My vassal, Count Aliba, that guy again, hurries to my side, his bloodshot eyes searching the assembled court. My lord, I am sure someone in the kingdom is out to get me. I have no evidence, but suspect Countess Elizabeth. 19-year-old girl, the Countess of Dice. She's always positioned herself as my enemy. I beg you, imprison Elizabeth and put a stop to this madness. She's got the gout. Uh, else is not a crime in itself, Oliba. As the last petitioner departed, departs, various courtiers follow them out of the room, having business to attend elsewhere. Others remain talking amongst themselves after the recent proceedings. Soon the ceremonial formality of the proceedings is dropped away entirely, with the hum and bustle of normal courtly life taking its place. 
business is done here. Hooray! Lovely weather. I mean, he's a hunter, so I think he'd like a hunter. Hunting. He enjoys the hunt. After what can only be described as a thoroughly pleasant visit, besides the time he tried to sleep with my daughter, and his, uh, he, he leaves after not sleeping with my daughter. Thankfully. Before the king steps into his carriage, he bows deeply to you and expresses his gratitude. I ensure him he is more than welcome to visit again. Yay! Mission epic decision. That sounds cool. I mean, maybe I should just declare war for this. Not a, not an insignificant amount of land, like three provinces, three counties. Wish I could seize the Jure Kingdom. That would be nice. Hmm. But I do think I actually have to head to bed, though. Or cut the stream and then get ready for bed. This is going well. This is a fun campaign. I like this game. Good time. Uh, also, firstly, though... This guy is not converted or anything. And, uh, he's got a lot of land around there. Man must be dealt with. Harshly. Okay, so... Um... So, how do you form the Empire? Is there a Holy Roman Empire? Also, are these the correct religion? Yes, everything's Catholic around here that I took. Good, good. Alright, yeah. This game's fun. I'd like to play it more. I would have, I kind of wish that I had uh, done Pokemon on Monday and then played this yesterday as well. Alright, so the plan will be that Sunday. We'll, I'll start something else. I need to decide on what I want to do. I might do Ocarina of Time. I might do Pokemon Coliseum. More likely to do Ocarina of Time. Or I might do a shorter game, like maybe Turok. Maybe I'll continue, continue Earthbound. There's a lot of things that I want to be doing. Um, I mean, there's always the possibility that I could stream something on Saturday as well. If it's later in the evening, I might do some CK3. We'll see. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. I will uh, talk to you later. One of these days, we're going to fix these borders. At least we are contiguous, though. I really do wonder what's going to happen once she dies. She's not super healthy. Like, I think it's all still going to go to this guy, right? The kingdom will go there first. Um, yeah, anyway. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. France will continue. 
eventually. Have a good night. Bye!